Hey guys, it's Joshua Peterson here, Peterson Electric. It is February uh, 29th. It's the extra day of the year. I'm not sure how that works, but it's leap year. Uh, this video is in 2024 for my SEO guide. It's going to be um, damage to a wire with a screw through it. How to check continuity, but... In lieu of it, uh, you don't need to put this, but it, this whole basement was done without a, a permit. All the drywall put up, not a single outlet, not a single extra circuit. Guys, we don't uh, typically give you bids on how to do a basement without a permit. We want a permit there. It's square footage being counted. Handyman did all this in Loveland. So a lot of you handyman, if I find out that you're wiring without a, per, a license, I will turn you into the state of Colorado. Um, it's wrong. This is a prime example. This is a 8.3 copper NM cable. I'm trying to show you here how the ground completely in the neutral and black were bonded together. My meter was freaking out. She lost her range. She almost lost her new range until the appliance tech unplugged it and said, call an electrician, something's really weird. No doubt, we had no continuity of ground and neutral at the panel. We had the black and the neutral showing a short. We did not have 240 black to red. It was more white to red. And then it showed an alternate voltage on the ground from one of the hots. This, I do not know how it did not start a fire over the last three years. Done in 2021 during COVID. Now, even though uh, a GC or a handyman might put up drywall or drywall guy doesn't mean they can't nick a wire. But this was very hard to tone out this goes right up to the panel this is the new wire i ran to here and then i fished it down to here and that's our new box and that goes right upstairs to there so no drywall damage except for this piece here where i found the screw right into the wire Guy is right there. Right up there. So you'd say, how did I find that? Um, it took two hours, figured it out. I didn't want to plug it in and test the range and blow out a range board. Those range boards can only handle six to eight percent um, high or low on, on the voltage. This was definitely way off, <laughs> about a hundred percent. But yeah, that little piece of screw in the cable. Now I get these about three times a year. Last year I had two of them from Siders, two long of nails going through a two by four wall. Wrecked the living room circuit at one house and the kitchen circuit at another. It's hard to fix with tile. Um, but I was figuring I figured out how to fix it outside of that, going outside of the home. Not pretty, but it worked. Um yeah, so when you're doing your work, guys, we're not the company to call and say, hey, I did all the monkey work with my dad and I, my uncle and I did all the wiring. I just need you to hook it up to the breaker panel and get me a panel. Guys, we're not going to energize your work for this exact reason. Okay, imagine I did the wire in the basement. They hit my wire. I came back. I didn't know for two years and then it caught fire. We're very particular about our wire. Um... I don't know why this breaker panel did not trip. It's 20 years old. It's outside. It is not a GFI breaker, but maybe that's why they're going to GFI protection on ranges now. Not that that won't cause things to trip like the dryers did in 2020. But that square D, 40 amp, two pole, stab, 10,000 AIC rated home line breaker didn't even sense it. In fact, it just ran current for years. Um... My thought is it barely nicked both, and over time the insulation just kept splitting. But she said when she went and self-cleaned, it manifested, finally. 
and understand that one of your wires going through the range is going to hit the board and it's going to do checkpoints before it sends power through to the other elements and the other side of the range will go straight to some of the elements waiting for the other side to come join it and send that electron once it does its checkpoints i think that this must have been on the back side of the elements and the red wire was actually going to the range board it was just swapped normally you see the black so that's probably why it didn't blow out right away but over time that impedance and resistance caused that range board to blow out so thank god she didn't lose two of them but i've had this happen where they've lost three um i don't often see a range wire nicked in a newer home but again all of this was put in no permit uh anyways guys i am so glad she did not have a fire and it melted down and she burnt her house down and this is a duplex so we're burned her neighbor's home down so you guys got to keep that in mind that when you're working in a home listen if you're a handyman when in doubt don't touch it just call someone be patient wait um every time they call it's a knee-jerk reaction like oh i can't do this can you do it today uh come on people have schedules but anyways guys not to be rude or but i'm just glad she didn't have a fire i'm glad we found it it was a pretty funny one to find i mean it wasn't easy we did four times testing the voltage to find different ways to see and then we couldn't see 85 percent of the wire so all right guys thanks for joining us hope that that'll help you out again for my seo guy that's going to be when 240 volt on a range goes rogue, it doesn't always mean it's a breaker. It doesn't always mean it's a plug or a cord or the appliance. Could have been utilities acting like this too with the neutral going down. Thanks, guys.